blow me away. Yeah. <clears throat> now, um, I had to check. This wasn't an April 1st story, well. I have to say. Uh, the Pauly Puss, who's one of the hearts of staff at the Lancaster Railway Station, Sir Toby, Sir Toby Toberone. Is that what <laughs> yeah, apparently so. Uh, a two-year-old cat who can't walk, and he's become such a regular they've made him an official station mascot. Twice a week, Sir Toby is taken down to the platform where he seems to enjoy watching the world. I think somebody's making this up. <laughs> and watching the trains go by. Peter Marshall will tell us more. Here he is. He's not your normal train spotter, but Sir Toby Toberone, as he's been named, does seem to enjoy sitting by the tracks at Lancaster Station. His ears prick up and his eyes light up and his attention is immediately focused on the trains. Yeah, particularly likes the big pendolinos that come in. I think it's the size of the carriages that attract him. Um, and he loves it. He likes watching them in and he likes watching all the people get off. And then he likes watching them going out again, going in there. <laughs> no one knows why he's disabled. He was found unable to walk in a garden when he was just six months old. He was taken in by a rescue charity, then adopted by Stephen and Julie Wilding, who slowly discovered his love of trains. He's really attentive, his ears have gone up, he's looking at me now, uh, he's not stressed, and you know, I'm not too sure people know he doesn't really get stressed. Staff at the train station have taken him to their hearts, so much so they've made him official station mascot. I take the fact that he's come up to uh, see all the trains and a lot of the staff here are actually train enthusiasts as well, so if he's the biggest train enthusiast, might as well make him in charge of the rest of us and keep us all in tow. <laughs> he gets to visit other areas, some quieter than the station, but it seems he likes life by the tracks. Yes, you're very special, aren't you, mate? Um, yeah. It's absolutely the bee's knees, really. Anything that can stimulate his brain is great, so we do as much as we can for him. Peter Marshall will be in office tonight, Lancaster. Well, that's very sweet, but I don't know how a cat gets in knighthood. How, how do they know that so he's enjoying himself? <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> Diane, what's happening with the weather? Mm, well, we didn't exactly get today, right?